Hi, this is Zazany Man, and um, so last my last Gdaris video, um, which is actually part one. This is part zero because it's downloading, installing. I taught you how to start like programming with Gdaris, but I never taught you how to download and install it. So in this video, I'm gonna do that. But first of all, I'm gonna tell you um why why what G Gdaris can do and how you program with it so that you know like if it's the platform for you which it probably is but you know you know what to do with it and you know if like you come from another platform like corona what it can do like different from that platform and stuff so um i'm going to have an annotation on the screen right now um to take you to the part where i start downloading and installing it teaching you how to do that but for right now I'm just going to, for right now, I'm just going to, you know, talk about why it's good. So, first of all, um, Gaderos is cross-platform, as it says right here. It's free and open source and cross-platform technology. So, it's really awesome that it's open source. So, basically, you can download the source code, too. And the download page, you um you can, like... Um, so since it's open source, the, uh, source code is on GitHub, and you can, uh, program with it, mess around with it if you want, um, even, like, a few people have, uh, got the code and done some Kickstarters with it to add new features to Gadaris, which is actually pretty cool, and they both succeeded, so that's pretty awesome, and it's, um, cross-platform, what that means is basically you can develop for iOS, Android, uh, Windows Phone, uh, HTML5, they're getting that, uh, feature in, like, about a year, I think, they just had the Kickstarter for it, um, and it succeeded, yay, and, um, you can also develop for, like, any other Android platforms, like the Slide Me Store, and, like, you can, uh, develop for, like, a lot of other things, uh, Amazon Fire TV, ooh yeah. um, so that's pretty cool, and it has, like, autocomplete, a lot of awesome features, you can do a lot of plugins with it, which is pretty cool, and its forum is really cool, if you just go to community, and then to forum, it has an awesome forum, and it's not unlikely that you'll get your questions answered pretty soon, so that's pretty awesome, um, but... Also, so, I guess I'm going to get started with the downloading and installing part of it. Wait one second. Alright, where was I? I was somewhere. I just had to stop and do something. So, um, to download it, basically what you got to do is, you can't click that down there, but if, uh, sometimes that might not be there, uh, so just press download. And it'll take you to the downloads page. So you can download the latest release or get the source code of the re latest release. Um, so that takes you to GitHub. That just takes you to download the release. And you don't even have to choose a different um, a different uh, file to download for the different systems that it supports. It supports um, Windows 2000 and beyond. It says just 2000 XP Vista and 7, but it actually supports 8 and 10, too. Um, Mac OS X and, like, all the newest ones and Linux. I don't know about Linux and Mac. I use Windows. Uh, so, basically what you got to do is... So, go to Download Release. And then these are all... Um, these are all the source code of, like, what they did in the um, newest release. Um... So this was like touch pressure and type, which is actually kind of cool. It's sort of like could be so that you could sort of is a gateway to allow you to do like 3D touch on iOS or Android. But so you you're not gonna use all these unless you want to just see what they have in the newest one. And like if you downloaded the source code, then you can just click on these. Um, and add that to your source code, um, wherever it tells you to, to, um, to get the newest one. So, now, 
what you want to do is you can download Gadaris.dmg or Gadaris.exe. I recommend the exe. It's smaller file size and does the same exact thing. And I just like executables. And so once you click on this, if uh, it'll start downloading. It'll appear around here if you're using Google Chrome. It'll probably appear somebody else, somewhere else if you're using um, Firefox or Internet Explorer or Safari. Um, but you'll find it. It's probably like in a downloads page somewhere. But so it'll appear right here on Chrome. And then I already downloaded it. I don't want to re-download it. But um, so it'll bring up this little window like this. Dara setup. So check the components you want to inst install and uncheck the components you don't want to install. Click next to continue. So I have a, already have an install of it. So I don't want to remove my previous install, but Gadaris is required, obviously. Start menu shortcuts. Uh, you don't have to do that, but I, I would recommend it. So then press next. And then I'm going to choose a different place to put it. Um, you should probably just do it, put it in your program files, but I'm going to put it in a different place since I already have uh install of it. So just... I'll be back there. Alright, so I chose a different location to put it. And so now all you have to do is press install. And it'll start installing. And this so I now have successfully um done this. So now if I press close, um then it'll That'll be where you downloaded it to. So let me just go there really quickly. Okay, so once you find it, which took me a while to do, but I finally found it, um, you should be able to um, just go into the Gadaris folder. So I had mine saved into this file right here. Click on the um, Gadaris file. And then to, just to do it, you to launch the uh, Gadaros. All you have to do is click on Gadaros Studio. And it says, like, it, if it says it has blocked some features of the app, you can press Allow Access, um, and then you have to type in, like, Administrator Password, but, you know, it's okay. Uh, some of them, like, see, that'll be weird if, like, sometimes... So, like, some of the things, it won't work if you don't have an administrator password, so you need to do that. But, other than that, so yeah, that's how you get it downloaded and installed, and, um, goodbye.